winter came in June. It was pretty strange for me. That's normally the time that I would journey on or I guess just quite naturally I I never really found myself in winter very often. So when winter came in June it was strange for me. I was staying. It had been two months since moving into my little home here in Melbourne with one of my dear friends and only my second winter in eight years. To be honest though, it was like a giant sigh of relief. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. To be held in a safe space, to process, to hibernate, to integrate. It's been a real journey of coming back home to myself. And I think we all have a lot of resistance around taking rest. I know I certainly find it really hard. Feelings of guilt and shame and self-worth start bubbling to the surface and I constantly feel like I'm not doing enough. And I guess that goes to show how much we've internalized capitalism, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, I just think it's important to remind ourselves that transformation is a fundamental part of life. We must be willing to let things die, decay, and sometimes that can, you know, be really uncomfortable. And yeah, I guess that was my winter. I felt like the caterpillar. Cloaked in past lives, I was laying dormant inside my cocoon. And I wondered about the butterfly through its death and rebirth if it knows of its mastery in alchemy. Showing us the true nature of embodiment. The delicacy in transforming our past to prompt us into flight. So beautiful. And now as I learn how to honor the skin I have recently shed, I can't help but feel a subtle sense of adventure and spontaneity that I feel spring can only bring.